Now, in Iran, protests backed by the state have been organized against plans to form a European Union-style bloc amongst the Gulf states. Two key American allies, Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, would be the first Arab Gulf nations to sign an agreement. Although Iran has called the idea a U.S.-backed plot to see Bahrain become part of Saudi Arabia. Bahrain has seen anti-government protests for more than a year, with fears now the potential union could strengthen the position of the Sunni rulers over a largely Shia population. Professor Syed Mohammed Morandi from the University of Tehran says it is the Saudi royal family, along with Washington, both stand to benefit the most. This is basically uh, for the survival of the dictatorship in Bahrain because uh, the dictatorship, the king, is uh, immensely unpopular. The vast majority of the people of Bahrain want uh, the overthrow of the regime. But uh, unfortunately, the, the West supports the Saudis and the Bahraini dictatorship. But what Tehran is concerned about is that uh, the Saudi regime uh, will attempt to annex uh, Bahrain because the dictator in Bahrain is immensely unpopular. He is unable to keep control and in order to crush the revolution he uh, allowed uh, Saudi forces to effectively occupy the country. It's very interesting that the people of Bahrain despite all this, this small country, has put up so much resistance and I think this sh itself shows the immense weakness uh, that lies behind the Saudi regime. But the Iranians believe that the fact that the United States supports the Bahraini and Saudi dictatorships also makes them um, responsible for the, both the bloodshed as well as the current situation at large.